if you will join me in going to uh, John chapter 1. I'm going to begin in verse 19. It says, and this is the record of John the Baptist. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? You mean he didn't get their permission? He said, and he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. That prophet. These people, all these Jews, these, uh, these Pharisees, Sadducees, they're all looking for that prophet. And if you go down to verse 25, then they ask him again. They asked him and said unto him, why baptize thou then? Why baptize I then, if thou art not Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? That prophet. Who is that prophet? Turn with me to Deuteronomy 18. There are some profound words here. And I'm beginning in verse 15. And the Lord thy God will rise up to thee a prophet. This is Moses speaking to the people. He said, the Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee. From the midst of thee. You know, there's another, there's another proof Jesus was a man. From the midst of thee. He didn't come uh, falling down out of heaven. He said, he will raise up a prophet from the midst of thee. Of thy brethren like unto me. Like unto me. Unto him you shall hearken. You shall hearken. It says, according to all that thou desirest to the Lord thy God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord thy God, neither let me see this great fire any more, lest I die not. And the Lord said unto me, they have well spoken, which they have spoken. God said they weren't stupid saying that. Now, look at what God says. I, this is Jehovah speaking. I will raise up them, a prophet. I will raise up them a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, Moses. Moses was a man. It says, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. He shall speak unto them all that I command them. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken, Listen to this. Whosoever. You know that includes you? That includes you in this. It says, Whosoever will not hearken unto my words, my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. I will require it of him. Do you hear that's talking about us? I will require the words from him. So when that prophet speaks, we have to listen. And it says we have to hearken unto his words. Because his words aren't going to be his words. His words are going to be God's words. And if we we shall speak in God's name, and that God will require it of us. Now, turn with me to Acts 3. Who was, who is, who will be that prophet? That prophet. Acts 3. I'm going to begin in verse, uh, let's go in verse 18. But these things which God before has showed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer and he has so fulfilled. All his prophets talked about Jesus Christ being suffering. He has so fulfilled. Repent you therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which was before preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And look at this next verse. It says, For Moses, for Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet, a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me, Him shall you hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul, every soul, you know that includes us, Jew and Gentile alike, every soul, which will not hear that 
prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Do you know this is talking about you? Amen. And do you realize who this is? It is Jesus. Amen. This prophet that was spoken of by Moses. Moses said, there's one coming after me from your own brother. Him, you better listen to. And if you don't listen to him, who's only going to speak God's words, it's going to be required of you, of you, of us, of us. It shall come to pass that every soul, not just the Jews, but the Gentiles alike, every soul which will not hear that prophet, that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. And who did Peter say that was? That was Jesus. He said, Jesus. He said right in verse 19, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and he shall send Jesus Christ which before was preached unto you. Peter was telling us here who that prophet was. Amen. Now let's take a look at what that prophet said. That prophet that we are required to hear, that we are required to listen to, John 12, I'm going to go to verse 47. This is Jesus speaking, and he's speaking to the, to the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the people. And he said, if any man, if any man hear my words and believe not, if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not into the world to judge the world, but to save the world. Do you see why Jesus came? He came to save you, not to judge you. He came to save you. Amen. He came to save you. But you got to listen to him. It says you got to listen to him. It says, he that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words has one that judges him. The words that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. 49. This goes right back to what Deuteronomy said. 40, verse 49. For I have not spoken of myself. Isn't that what Moses said? He won't speak his own words. He's only going to speak what Jehovah tells him to speak. Amen. And even Jehovah himself said, the man, the prophet that I send in you is only going to speak my words. And now listen to what that prophet said. He said, for I have not spoken to myself, but the Father which sent me, he gave me a commandment, Amen. what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore... Even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. What is Jesus saying here? I'm only saying the words that God tells me to say. Amen. I only speak the words that God tells me to say. Now, what did that prophet say that God said out of his mouth? What did that prophet say that we are required of? What are we going to be required of? It, Moses said, what this man says, you are going to be required of. Whether you are Jew or Gentile, Amen. that prophet is going to speak words that you will need to hear Amen. and you will be required of. What words are we required of? Turn with me to Mark 1. Amen. What are the words that that prophet spoke and he only spoke what God told him to speak? Go to verse 14. Now, after John was put into prison, John the Baptist. Jesus came into Galilee. Jesus was that prophet, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, and saying. We already know that anything that Jesus said, it was not him that said it. The Father said it out of his mouth. Jesus only spoke the words that the Father told him to speak. And what did the Father say out of this prophet's mouth? The, king, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent you. That means change your will. Change what you're thinking. Change the way you believe. Change what you think. Change your will and believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. What did that prophet say that Moses said so many years before that prophet's going to come and the words he say will be required of you? What's required of us? Jesus said it right here. Believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. Jesus said believe the gospel. The father spoke 
Je wow. Jesus spoke only the words of the Father. And what did the Father say for Jesus to speak? He told us, repent you, change the way you think, and believe the gospel. Amen. Believe the gospel. Now, for those of you that don't know what the gospel is, and you forgot what you heard at the beginning of the program, turn with me to 1 Corinthians 15. I will give you the actual, as I say, bona fide definition of the gospel. It is 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 and 4. And this is Paul, the, uh, Paul, the apostle Paul speaking. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. And where did Paul receive it? He received it from that prophet. He said, first of all, which I also received. How? That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Amen. And what did Peter say? All the prophets before spoke of this man coming. Spoke of this prophet coming. All the prophets from Moses on spoke of there's going to be a prophet. This man's Amen. coming, folks. And what does he do? He says how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. And that he was buried. And that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is required of you to believe. Amen. That is what God requires Thank of us God. to believe. That is what that prophet spoke. And we are required of those words that we believe the gospel. That we believe that when Jesus died, he had your sin and my sin on him. That when Jesus died, he had your sickness, your disease, your pain on him. Why? Because he loved you and he died for you. That's what we believe. And when he died, he had your poverty, your peace, your safety on him. That's why he died. That's why he came. He came to save us. That's what Jesus said in the beginning. I didn't come to judge you. I came to save you. Did you hear what Jesus said? I didn't come to judge you. I came to save you. The condition you're in right now, he's not surprised. That's why he came, to save you. What is required of us? That we believe that. Do we hang on to that? That we trust in that? Do we put it before our eyes? That we look at it? That we make it our own? That we put it into our hearts? That we believe that Jesus died for us? That he was buried for us? And that the third day, the third day, the Father was satisfied with the sacrifice that Jesus made for us. For us. The sacrifice that Jesus made for us. The father was satisfied and he went and he raised Jesus from the dead. And the moment he raised Jesus from the dead, he forgave you of your sin. And he healed you of your disease. And he healed your pain. And he gave you prosperity. And he gave you safety. And he gave you peace. That is what we are required to believe. It'll be required of us. That's what Moses said. What this man preaches, what this man says, it'll be required Amen. of us. And the first thing you must do, the very first thing you must do to do the words that are required of you is you must be born again. Hallelujah. You must be Jesus himself. That prophet that we are required to hear said out of his own mouth, the only words of the Father he spoke, you must be born again. Amen. You must be. That is required of you to be born again. And how are you born again? Romans 10, 13. Those that call on that name, the name of Jesus, shall be delivered, shall be saved, shall be born again. That is what's required of us. Being born again calling on the name of that prophet. And that prophet's name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's who that prophet is. And that's who will lead us, will guide us into perfection, will guide us into forgiveness, will guide us into prosperity, will guide us into justification, will guide us into redemption, will guide us into safety, will guide us clear until we are with him forever. Amen. Amen.